This morning, victims of domestic violence are watching the Supreme Court closely. Justices are taking up a challenge to a federal law that bans Americans who are under domestic abuse restraining orders from owning a gun. I have three in my head. Um, I have one in uh, my right side and one in my left side. Lashea Cretain was shot repeatedly by the abusive father of her daughter. I said I couldn't be with anybody else but him. And he showed it by hitting me. She believes the law would have protected her had a restraining order been in place, but police told her there was little they could do. He shot me behind my head and in each hip, and I fell right next to my daughter. Every year, judges issue thousands of domestic violence restraining orders, limiting contact between an aggressor and victim, and blocking some 77,000 gun purchases through the federal background check system. We know that it's not just intimate partners murdering their their partners we know that they're doing it with firearms and that these laws are preventing them from doing that but the supreme court has a decision to make after a lower court ruled the law violates the second amendment this statute actually ends up disarming a bunch of law abiding or, or otherwise good people judges often issue mutual restraining orders which disarms both the victim and the abuser at the same time. Domestic violence survivors like Lashea argue keeping the law on the books is a matter of life and death. People that are a danger to themselves or to someone else, they need to not have the access to a deadly weapon because guns make situations more fatal, makes abuse more fatal. Hundreds of gun safety and domestic violence prevention advocates are expected to rally at the Supreme Court today. Gun rights advocates say they'll be there too as oral arguments begin. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.